So you have a new album that's coming in 2015. I know you have the mixtape EP, all mm -hmm. of that out right now. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on the success of both of those. Thank you. But you have a new album coming in 2015. And people are anticipating this album <laughs> already. Everybody wants to know what's going on with the album. So how much of the album is done? Um, I don't even... I got a lot of songs, you know, but I'm just taking my time. Like, it's got to be right. I got to say all the right things, mm -hmm. you know, and make sure my thoughts come out the way that they're supposed to. I know that you said uh, Bone Thugs will be on the album. Yeah. Bone Is that definitely happening? That's definitely going to happen, but I mean, you know. Are they together? Because... They're doing shows together. And they recorded with Game. I know that. Yeah, I mean, a while back, and Game always, told me they were together. But I, I yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, it's always you know some shit that maybe somebody can't make it to. But yeah, they all working together. They doing shows together. The record, um, I need answers. Yeah, sounds kind of like a Bone Thugs record. That's inspired, you know, a little harmonizing. It looks, yeah. <laughs> it sounds a lot like a Bone Thugs record. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about that record because I know it's about police brutality. Mm. You have another record called Red Balloons. Yes. And uh, which, you know, the Red Balloons, you actually mentioned the 300 girls abducted from their school in Nigeria. Yes. And um, so you're actually, you know, calling a lot of attention to these issues by, you know, making this music. Am I? Are you not? Uh, I was asking you. I'm, I'm, well, I think it's very interesting with the way that things are that it feels to me like it's so much easier to not make a record like that. Right. So why do you do it? Those are my thoughts. Mm. That's how I feel, you know. I'm just trying to do, play my part. Yeah. They're very effective, those records. I hope so. I hope so. And especially, um, and I need answers, you know, when you're standing in front of the stained glass window and you're in the video and all of that, like, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it really, uh, you think a lot. I'm glad, that. that's what it's supposed to do. I'm glad people feel that way, you know. I just, you know, hope that shit lives. Hmm. Will there be more records like that? Oh, on yeah. On the new album? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's dope. So who else will be on the album? Because I know Snoop wants to work with you. Can we get a Snoop Dizzy Wright record? Try to make it happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning right. Well, from what I understood, he reached out to you. Yeah. So he wants to work with you. So I feel like you can make well, the phone call and make it happen. Well, well Snoop moved to Vegas because his son plays football out there. Right. And his son is like top five in the nation. Yeah. You know, so Snoop is a busy man, you know. But... If he could make some time for the guala. <laughs> he would love that. It would be awesome. That, that needs to happen. Um, also, um, I was, you know, basically curious about uh, Logic, because I know that you have, like, a collab album possibly coming out with Logic. Yeah. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on Logic at this point? <laughs> uh, shout out to Logic. His album came out today. Oh, yes, it did. Go get that shit. Uh, I think Logic is one of the best right now, best MCs in the game right now. Wait, uh, did you see the cipher? Did you watch the BET yeah. Hip Hop Wars? Okay. No, I didn't get to watch it, but I seen his cipher. I went and watched it. Oh, online. And I went. Wait, how online. did you think he did? Yeah, I, I thought he killed it. You know. Can I, I can I tell you that like I felt like he was the best one? You can definitely say that. Thank you. you can definitely say that. <laughs> <laughs> I got Murder Mook because was he was live. Say, I'm going to say because Murder Mook was live. I was about live. to say, did you enjoy Murder Mook, though? He was live. So to me, it, you know, to did me, it Did you enjoy was, Murder Mook, though? Was, yeah. So was, to see that was just amazing. Yeah. But as far as, you know, all the cyphers that were done, yeah, I, I felt like Logic, like, what is it called when you go, You t is it called double timing? What he does, where he goes, da 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 and that shit is dope, you know? Like, and more rappers just need to do that, break their situation down, 
and not really try to sound like everybody else. And I think he dope for that. That's my dog, though. Hmm. So you're planning on doing an album with him? Oh, yeah, yeah. So will this happen after the album that you're releasing in 2015? Yeah. So hopefully next year, if not, you know, 2016. What's next year? 2015, right? <laughs> yeah, we're about to get yeah, 2015. Yeah, 2016. But hopefully next year. We want to do a tour, though, and see how the fans respond to that. Mm. You know, a collabo tour and just... Because we got a lot of the same fans. Like, right. I see a lot of his fans on the road. So uh, we're going to see. We're going to do it right, though. So will the tour come with the album, or is that something you're going to do before the album? Who knows? Okay. I'm just wondering. It could be. It that would be smart, like to do like a, a collab project and then tour. Mm -hmm. You know, but I would like to see the fans and then have them fans go get more fans, and then do a collab project and do a bigger tour. With more fans. <laughs> I don't think there's any more fans to confess. I don't know. Hey, hey. bigger <laughs> venues. You make that shit grow every time, you know. You don't got to rush everything. Like, because Logic is the homie. Like, he's going to always want to tour. He's going to always be around, you know. And people are just starting to really discover him. Yeah, same with me. Like, you know, it's, this shit is a growing process. Mm. So, do you want to be in the site for next year? I would like to be. I got some shit to say, you know. If you were to be in the cipher, first of all, who would you want to be featured in the cipher with? Funk volume. I would like to have a funk volume cipher. That would be dope. All so those. name all the members that would be in the cipher with you. Hobson, Jaren, Benton, and fucking Swiss. Okay. Wait, was Jaren in it this year? He was. Yeah. He killed it. Yeah. So how was that? He was in the one with Remy and Pap, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I might be biased, but Jaren was my favorite. <laughs> It's okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you know I mean, but that's just me. So you want to have a funk volume cipher? Yeah. That'd who be who cool. would go first? I know you want to go last. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't go last. I'll check everybody out. <laughs> I would. Um, I would go first. Yeah. You know really? You would go first? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I go first. Set it off. Because <laughs> everybody will see it, like you know. Turn it on, first nigga. Everybody watch the first nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I I the, the I watch that show for is the, for the cyphers. Yeah, most people do. Most people do. It doesn't even matter who gets the award anymore or the performances. You're like, I need to see who's yeah. in there. I think the performances though are much liver if you're there. Yeah, because they edit. Because wh I mean, There's watching them on TV, on. it's like you don't you don't feel the music. Right. It's not like you get the. Like, it's probably a lot of fucking bass in that arena. It's probably, like, turned up. The bands probably sound way crazier. So they don't got to do a lot because it's so much there, and we don't get that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. The shows always seem a little weird, but they probably be hella turned up. 